Hi and welcome back to my playthrough of Yggdrasil. We are playing a three-player game basically, or simulating a three-player game, playing three gods, Thor, Freya and Tyr. And I think so far we went through maybe ten cards or so, can't quite, maybe nine. I think we went through four, uh, three rounds basically. Let's see how far we can get this episode. And yeah, we are basically moving back over to Thor, who doesn't really have a reason to move to his trance site. So I think we will leave him where he is. He has two weapons. He has Galeipnir and he has Draupnir. And I think hmm, there was an idea pushing back Fenrir here one space further. On the other hand, with his next move, I think he doesn't really do an awful lot of damage. But yeah, we will have to resolve our next card. Okay, Surt is moving one space ahead, so maybe more reason to go after Surt because again, you don't want to move these um, enemies over these thresholds here because they're getting more powerful, it's easier to lose the game. I mean, you get the idea. In this case, you still at the power level one, which means we are rolling the die and adding, I think, yeah, one fire giant only to the white bag. I think this could have been much, much worse, actually. I think, yeah, white was put, I think we added some, if I recall that correctly. So you can barely see some of those Viking tokens in the back, but I think that's basically it. We moved him ahead. Yeah, we triggered it. Yeah, that part is done. I think for his first action, he's going to move the Vanya marker one space ahead. Again, we can either trigger it, basically moving it back or advance it. In this case, we had to advance it. We have two more actions left. With the second action, I think I think we are going to Midgard. We are not moving the Valkyrie marker. We can, that's optional, but we are drawing from the blue bag here. Three tokens. I really lost track on um, basically how good this is. Okay, it's one versus one. Okay, that wasn't terrible at all. So mm, now we do have actually a fighting chance against Surd, and I think we may want to do that. So this was basically already our second action with the last action. We have four here plus the automatic one. We don't have any artifacts to help us against store, but I still think we do have a fighting chance. So yeah, let's with our second action, take the Asgard action, which means we are fighting Surge. Normally you would have to commit your Vikings before, but Tur is still on his trance side. So we get to spend those Viking after our die roll, which is pretty powerful. So let's roll. <laughs> we keep rolling the one. Yeah, okay, it's twice on that die, to be fair. So we need, in order to defeat Surt, four more. We have one built in on Thor here, so we're already at two. We need three more, and I will totally spend all those Viking warriors down here. Moving them back to the world of dead. So now we do have a reason to take this action with our next entity, with our next god, Freya. Um, in order to bring some of these dudes back into a respective bag. But I believe, yeah, let's not forget, that was the whole idea to move Surt back one position. But that's his turn done. Over to Freya. And before we make any fancy plans, okay, Jörmungard is moving once more again. These enemies are not too bad because it doesn't really matter where they are in respect to the power level. Yes, it's more difficult to defeat them based on where they are. The right now defense level of five, then it's six, seven and eight. You get the idea. But apart from that, they're not too dangerous. Still, I think we need enemy control here. But of course, the special power kicks in, which means the Valkyries move back to the Rainbow Island. And then we again have to roll that nasty die. And OK, it goes to the White Island. This could become a problem if we now reveal one of these frost giants that bring in this, this water pool, basically, where we'll flip this to the other side. In this case, the Valkyries would be stopped here. Hmm, something to think about. But that was this thing done. And I guess for her first action, because she already has level two Mjolnir, she's visiting the dwarves and the dwarves hand her or basically increase her Mjolnir by one level, which means a level one and a level two Mjolnir are still available. So again, one level one could go to Thor or and the level two could be to Tyr. Of course, you have to upgrade first, but you really get to choose uh, basically Mjolnir several times if you want to. And in some cases, it definitely does make sense. But now she is well prepared, actually, 
to take out Jörmungan. But before we do, she may want to visit the World of Dead, I believe, down here. So we are allowed to bring in five or up to five of these mighty Viking warriors into one bag. And I think we are putting it into the blue bag because I think that will be our target. So let's put them in. Let's give it a quick shuffle. She still has one more action left. And with that, she's trying to defeat Jörmungand here to move him back. And she has a plus three because of Mighty Mjolnir. <laughs> and it's a one. Um, we have three, four. We have to spend or sacrifice one Viking who goes back to the underworld, world of the dead. But we have moved Jörmungand one space further. Nicely done, Freya. Over to Tyr. Again, he's in a trance, uh, which means he can't currently take the Asgard action. But so far, it's really working out for the other two gods here. Mm, he has Hofod at level two. We have Gungnir at level one. But yeah, let's draw the card first before we are getting too crazy. And I should bring the artifacts back. And Jörmungand is moving again. Hmm, I think that's not too bad, actually. The Valkyries are already on the Rainbow Island, which means we only have to roll that die. Ah, okay, that is really not pretty, of course. But again, yeah, we have one third of a chance to roll that die here. So it's not unlikely. But this also means these guys do not come out. And um, what I'm really afraid of right now is Loki, because I think we haven't seen a single Loki card yet. And Loki brings out these frost giants, and I really fear that he's bringing out those frost giants one after another. That could become a problem. So I believe what he wants to do now, it's a little bit wasteful, actually. So for his first action, he is going to the underworld here and sending those three Viking warriors now into the white bag. I mean, it's currently unblocked, which means, yeah, let's do it this way. Then we are moving down to one action left. We are moving the Valkyries one step further and we are taking the Midgard action here accordingly. So that's part of the Midgard action. Obviously, we're drawing two tokens. Not good. Better. Okay, that's one which is not terrible but may not be enough. That's now... Yeah, that's really a problem. So we have three Vikings and one more action left. He could go after Jörmungand. The problem is he only has three. No, he can't. Mm, he's in a trance. He can't take the Asgard action anyway. Because Jörmungand is already progressed quite a bit, do we want to take another Mjolnir into his hand? But right now he's not taking the Asgard actions. I think I want him to prep for maybe potential frost giants to come out. So maybe with his last action, Let's visit that space up here. I keep forgetting what it is. So this could give you two Vikings now, if the next god would go there. I think that does, definitely does help. Depends now a little bit on which card is coming out. But that was the final action of Tyr, which means he remains in trance-like state. So yeah, let's move back to Thor. Let's draw the next card and Fenrir is moving. So we are moving it one further. And yeah, we can't take any actions right now, right? He's currently on a relatively good level still manageable so i think we still have a two-third of a chance to get rid of him problem is it will cost us one of our very very valuable actions for sure so let's move Fenrir over to Thor and he doesn't have a chance for his very first action he has to tame Fenrir Gleipnir unfortunately doesn't help here. It only helps us to fight Fenrir, but we need to roll basically a white or a blue symbol, which, oof, okay, dodge that bullet here again, but again, it costs us one more action. We are moving Fenrir back, or we have discarded Fenrir. We still have two more actions, so we could go for Sleipnir for a plus two, then take him out, but we, we really have to roll well. So in theory, if we upgrade Gleipnir now, we would have three in total plus this one here. So we would need to roll a two on the die. That's a problem. If we use the Sacred Land, Thor would be getting two Vikings directly. I think, oh, I think they do come from the world of the dead. Yes, indeed. And the world of dead is empty. Okay, that wasn't particularly thought through by me or by Tyr. Let's play him Tyr for that. He has taken that action. Okay, so that's not gonna happen. 
So I guess what we do have to do with his second action is to upgrade Gleipnir. I think let, we have to do that. So we're taking level two. Level one goes back to the deck, ready to be sold again. Okay, we have one more action left. And in theory, we have a plus three built in, plus the one elf. But again, Fenrir is already in the second stage here, which means we have to come up with six fighting power. The thing is, he could go for another elf and say, we hope Fenrir is not moving again anytime soon, for example, and someone else could take care of him. The problem is he's the best suited for Galightning because he has the plus two against Fenrir. I think what we could also, but then we are also out of action. That's one action I didn't show you, one location. It's the World of Darkness down here, which allows you to trade with one other god. I think trade, exchange, take in any, any combination, but with one god only. Yeah, this is something we could have done, actually, instead of upgrading Gleipnir, because Freya has some allies here, but I think she also has to do something next round, actually. So just handing it over to Thor right now, that's really a problem. Do we think we can keep Fenrir at bay here and hope he's not moving into the... If he's moving into the next threshold, then we have to roll a white die or the white symbol basically in order to tame him when he's coming out. So what we could also do for his third action is to actually move or go to the sacred place and move the marker instead of taking it, right? That's something, but that's something that the other players could do as well. So no, I think he needs fighting power. So he's visiting the elves right now. So he has a good chance to take it. I think right now he's then well prepared two plus one is three five so he needs still to roll a one there are blanks on the die in order to defeat Fenrir but maybe there are other things we can do but that's already the end of his turn done over to Freya and a Jörmungand is moving again <laughs> I'm really not sure so again these are moving back we have to roll the die so maybe the blue spot is getting available again Indeed, the Black Island is blocked. Black is the back, is best bag, actually. I think we never got there. Um, and yeah, because they're always sent back here to the Rainbow Bridge and they have to move from there. Yeah, that's definitely not unimportant. But yeah, we already have three enemies in the second threshold. And again, if five or more at the end of one god's turn are in that area here, we have already lost the game. The next threshold would be three. And then if someone makes it here to Odin's residence, we have also lost the game. Anyway, Freya can take her three actions, so she's not bothered by pesky Fenrir. And because I'm now really terrified of Loki, I think she will also visit the dwarves, takes the level one Hofen. So I think we need a second god to take care of Loki in case he comes out, right? So that was her first action. She can take the same action twice. The problem is the stage two Hofun is in Tyr's hand, so she cannot grab it. We can't skip over it to level three in, uh, directly. So she may want to take a swing at um, Jörmungand, but I think before we do, we are moving this marker here on the sacred land one step further. And keep in mind, this one is particularly powerful because it allows us to send one enemy one space back without fighting them. I think that's definitely important. And now we are going somewhat over Hail Mary, I believe. No, I think she can take him out. We will go after Jörmungand here with her last action. Again, she has Mjolnir in her hand, which gives her plus three. And yeah, that wasn't great. We need to come up with six. We have three. I think we will do that. So we will sacrifice those Vikings. The elves also go back to the Elven Kingdom. But this has taken care of Jörmungand. Not bad. Over to Tyr. He's revealing the next card. Okay, Hell is moving, which I believe so far is okay. We again have to roll that die and now we have to remove Vikings off the back. It's still on the first power level, so it's only one from the white back. And keep in mind, we are removing that Viking from the game for good. Here it is. So that's definitely a concern, but yeah, nothing we can do about it. Then he's taking his action. His first action is to move the Vanir marker one space further. I think that's important. His second one, he will upgrade Hofund to level 
three. So level two is now available for Freya. And then he still has one more action left. And here I'm now really not sure if I want to switch back to the trance, but I think it doesn't really help us to go to the trance stake with the last action or his last action, basically, um, because he can't do anything with it. If he would be able to fight still, then yes, let's do that. But in this case, we could have no hell. I think he doesn't really have a chance. OK, I, I think things are getting more spicy now. What am I going to do? Maybe we have to start moving the Valkyries again, because I think Jermungand we already have seen four or five times. So hopefully we get a break. So yeah, let's take the Midgard action, moving it here. And again, drawing Vikings out of that bag is optional. He has three Vikings in his hand, basically, at his disposal. So let's not do that. Let's just prepare so someone else could maybe move it to blue or green. We have added an awful lot of those into the blue bag. So maybe prepare for someone else's turn. But that's already the end of the entire round. Moving back to Thor. Let's reveal the next card. Okay, Surt is moving, which means I believe we are moving Fire Giants, if I recall correctly. Yes, indeed. Let's roll that die. It's still one. One goes to the blue back. I think that's not too bad, actually. Yeah, I think we can live with that because we have added an awful lot in there. So I think Thor is now in a good position taking out Fenrir. So with this first action, we are upgrading Galeitnir. Okay, here's Galeitnir. Oops. Level two. I think this was the last one going in there. So I think we are now in an okay shape here. So we have the six we need in order to take out Fenrir, even if we are rolling a zero. We have three plus one is four, six. Okay, that's not terrible. Before we do, I think we are moving the Valkyries one step further onto the blue item uh, island and we'll draw three tokens here out of the bag. One, two. OK, that's the one we just added. I'm pretty sure about that. OK, that's OK. That's a blue one. Only one. That wasn't too great, actually. The blue bag is actually in our favor now, but OK. It is what it is. We still have one more action left, and I think we do have to move back Fenrir before he makes it into the next threshold here. Again, we don't have to commit our Viking, which is great because of Tyr's power. I think he's really great on that side. And OK, it's a lousy one again. Let's do the math. We need six, right? One, four, five, Six. Okay, that wasn't terrible at all, actually. So Fenrir is moved one space back. But you see them here. These fellas are all already right next to the next threshold. It doesn't seem like a lot, but there's still an awful lot of cards we have to go through, actually, in order to win this game. And I believe that's the end of his turn already. Back to Freya. Oh, no, of course it had to happen. So Loki is moving one step further and Loki is revealing the next Frost Giants based on his power level. Right now, quote unquote, it's only a one, which means we are seeing our very first Frost Giant here. That's one of the nasty ones, I believe, Himir. Um, which brings out, yeah, the water pool, basically. So as long as he is alive, we can't enter this space with the Valkyries. And of course, we can't pull any Vikings out of that bag. In order to defeat those Frost Giants here, we have to come up with three fighting points. And there are no artifacts against those Giants. So we have to make do with what we roll and what we have in respect to our Vikings. But I believe Tyr is in a relatively good shape, actually, because he has the three Vikings in case everything goes south. That's not too bad. But anyway, it's Freya's turn and she's still wielding Mjolnir, which I think really is great. She could go after Jörmungand, which is scratching at this threshold here. I mean, all four of those two, actually. And keep in mind, she can take the same action twice, actually. So, hmm. But I believe for a first action, she may want to do the Midgard action here. So she's pulling out some tokens out of the green bag here, which is still available. One, that's cool. Two, oh wow, okay, I like that. <laughs> Not bad, okay. She's now in a very good shape. And before anything nasty happens, with her second action, she's going to the sacred land and is moving, I believe, 
Loki back one more position because more and more Loki cards will come up. Relatively certain about that. And if he's moving here or is triggering his ability here, we are bringing out two more of those Frost Giant cards. And that's bad, obviously. So that was that done. She still has one more action left. And I think with that, she is going to fight Jörmungand. So we need some monster control. She has a plus three because of Mjörnir. And let's see what... We, okay, this time we rolled a zero, a blank. Hmm. So we need to spend two of our Vikings here. We can still do that after the die roll. I think I will leave two totally on his trans side. Relatively certain about that. But yeah, this allowed us to move the snake, I believe, one space back, which I think is really important. But that's already the end of her turn done. Over to Tyr and... Ooh, I just said it. <laughs> and it's not very likely, actually. Okay. Jörmungand is moving again. I'm really happy I moved it now, actually. And we have to roll the die again. Yeah, of course, the Valkyries move back to the Rainbow Island and the water pool is here on the green. Yeah, it's really moving the water pool now. And we are not flipping it back because, again, this Frost Giant is still active. But I believe Tyr can might still be able to do that. Okay, this was this card done. Three actions for Tyr. And I think I do have a plan. So, first of all, we are moving the Underworld here, the World of the Dead, to move these five mighty Vikings to the right back. Then we are visiting Midgard here. We are drawing three tokens out of the bag for Tyr. One, two, and... Okay, one goes back. That wasn't terrible at all. And with the last action, he's going to fight that Frost Giant here. We don't have to sacrifice any of our Vikings beforehand. We get to roll that die. Oh, again, it's a blank, so we have to sacrifice three Vikings here. They go back to the underworld, but Himir is gone. And in case you're wondering what those symbols here mean, these are the runes. So there are four frost giants in that deck that basically sharing the same room. If we happen to get all four of those, we get a bonus for that, depending a little bit on the rune. In this case, if you would get the fourth of this rune, the man rune, move one enemy counter three spaces backwards. That is huge. But of course, we have to find the right god or right giant and have to defeat them. But this is, these are really extremely powerful. And I think we have to trigger those as one as soon as we have the fourth rune available. But usually at that point in time, you already need those anyway. Over to Thor again, I believe. This was his final turn, yeah? His final action. Okay, okay, that is bad. This is really bad. So Hell is moving into the second stage. Three out of five are already here. We have to roll the die and now we are removing two gods, uh, two Vikings from that bag. And that's the white bag. Oof, yeah, maybe the white bag isn't too bad, actually. Oof, it's already getting pretty thin. I mean, this is what I pulled out randomly, but those two are gone. There are still some Vikings in the white bag, but I'm not sure. I think overall we already have removed four or five of those Vikings. Yeah, two is really bad. Mm -hmm. And Tor can take three actions. I think with his first action, he's going to get a weapon. And I think it's Miming here. This is the one we need for. Oh, or should we go for Sir? No, let's go for this. He already has Tropnir, of course. And Fighting Hell now may not be in our best interest because Hell is already in the second stage. Moving this fella back definitely does help us a little bit more at this point in time. Ultimately, we want to move them out of this space, of course. But okay, this was his very first action. He has still two more left. He could immediately try to fight Zerd. He has a plus two. He needs to roll at least a one and then he needs to get rid of both of his elves. Hmm. Maybe let's try to make things safe. So we are going for another elf for his second action. And I think for his last action, he has to fight Zerd now. So let's see. Yeah, let's hope for a three, right? Okay, that's a one. That's not too bad. Um, we have the plus one and the plus two. So we have a plus three. So two elves need to get sacrificed, but we are moving Zerd back one position. I still think this was important enough. Over to Freya. Let's reveal the neck. Ooh, Fenrir is moving. Mm -hmm. Let's bring this fella over. 
Um, this goes um, to her board, which means Yashino has to roll blue or white in order to take any action. So with her first action, we have to tame him. That was not good enough. With his second action, black is not on this list. That's the green. Not good enough because, again, we are looking, I believe, blue and white. Exactly. Okay, blue. Yeah, this was her last action. It's still good because if, let's say, she wouldn't have been successful now, Fenrir would have moved on to Tyr and he would have to fight, uh, basically, or get rid of him on top of anything else that he needs to take care of. But that was basically a completely wasted turn for Freya. <laughs> wow, that's bad. And you see, I totally suck at this game. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hmm. Okay. Fenrir is moving into the next threshold here, which means he's now on the third power level. So we have to roll a wide result, which is still one third. So it's still okay. You don't need to roll a six, but Tyr has to deal with him. And oof, this, this is really bad. So the game could be over now relatively soon, actually. So he has three actions. His first action is to try to tame Fenrir. No, that's not good enough. We need the white. Second action. <laughs> no. Last action. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is really bad. Moving Fenrir that often after each other, that's, that's really a problem. So we have completely lost two entire rounds now, or two entire turns of the heroes. This is bad. Let's keep going for now. <laughs> okay. I really have shuffled the heck out of this deck, believe me. But I believe there are six or seven cards each. I think it's seven, yeah, six times seven. Okay, still on the third power level. Mm, Gleipnir doesn't help him at all. If this moves one step further and we are not getting rid of him, then yeah, we have lost the game. So yeah, let's see what happens. Mm, that's, the, oops, that's the first action in order to tame Fenrir. Okay. He was successful with his first roll, so we still can take actions, finally, okay? <laughs> but what do we do? Uh, I think for his first action, or one, one of his two actions, he needs to fight Fenrir. He has a four now, but Fenrir is now incredibly powerful because he's now at seven. Um, so we have one elf with us, that's a five. So even with that, we would have to roll a two or a three on that die which I believe is a five or a six. Yeah, there's a one, two, and there is one, three on that die. Not impossible, but difficult. It's basically Arkham Horror chances. But I believe we really have to do something. So we are visiting Midgard um, with a second action. Basically already, we are pulling out three tokens out of the blue bag. I think we haven't removed any tokens of that bag. Okay, that's at least one. Okay, one is not great. One is really not great. He could have traded with Tyr instead. Maybe that's what he should have done instead, actually. But yeah, I have pulled now. It's basically like drawing a card or rolling a die. I will not take it back. It's another randomizer in this game. A lot of randomizations in this game happening, but I still like it. And yeah, with our last action, I believe we do have to fight because he's the only one who can try to push him back, right? Um, because if this is now moving here, all the others don't really have a chance to bring him back. I think at least. Yeah, Freya could take the same action twice, getting a lot of, yeah, there's, it's possible, but still difficult enough. Um, okay, yeah, let's, let's roll the die. Uh, okay, I think that's not enough. Uh, it's really not enough. Yeah, we needed a f one at least. So we have four plus two is six, plus zero is still six. Not enough to take out Fenrir. And yeah, I think that's his turn done actually. So yeah, over to Freya. Okay, Surt is moving, bringing out more fire giants actually into one of these bags. That's really not the worst thing in the world. We're adding one more fire giant to the blue bag. I think we can live with that. But then what is she doing actually? She has three actions. That's, that's already good for starters. But again, she's nowhere near being able to defeat Fenrir, right? She could visit the Blue Island twice, basically, hoping for an awful lot of those. She could go for the level one Gleipnir, which is still available. She could 
do that twice, this would give her a plus two, but the plus two plus the one here doesn't really help her. She could now really trade with Tyr. Okay, that's the, I think that's what she needs to do actually. Yes, for her first action, she's going to trade with Tyr. I think that was the world of darkness. So she's taking two Vikings here. That was one action. I think we have to we have to take a gamble here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. With her second action, she's going for Gleipnir, giving her a plus one against. But oh, it's still we need. Come on, we need to still roll a three, right? One, four. We had it. Okay, but I think we still have to prepare for pre prep for that. So I think that's still good enough. Again, she could now say. Mm, Fenrir is not moving and instead go for the tier 2 Gleipnir. Then we have two folks who can fight him and I think that's what I'm going to do. I have to gamble here. I can't really hope for a 6. So she's visiting the dwarves again, which she can do. Um, I think that is fine. Tyr is not going to fight Fenrir anyway. I think these were her three actions. She traded and basically has visited the dwarf twice. Yes. Over to Tyr and Tyr, okay, Neathug is moving over here. And yeah, this also brings Loki one step further. So we have three in that area, two more. Okay, that is something right now we can live with, I believe. And I guess we are already halfway through the deck or so. I think we can count the cards actually. And yes, we're at 24 cards out of 42. So we are more than halfway done. Hooray. But what are we doing with him now? Mm, he could go after Loki. He has to level three Hofen, but therefore he has to move back to his active side basically. Which isn't terrible either because then he gets a reroll of any die he is rolling. So maybe that's something we want to consider because I don't want to move Loki basically into the next threshold and then bring a yeah, let's do that. So with our first action, we are moving back. We are waking up. So we are now getting some color back on Tyr, which is nice. With his second action, he is visiting the elves, right? And then, yeah, I think we have to gamble again, actually. We could have instead visited the Blue Island, actually, here, down here, and hope for some more Vikings. But we have a reroll. Let's let's try that. And with, again, with our last action, we are going to fight Loki with Hofund, a plus three here. So we need at least a one. And I think I will stop here. It can get much worse, of course. We don't get to choose. We have to take the second result. So three, four, and five. This elf is moving Loki one position back. I think this was really, really important. Let's do one more round. Or maybe I should still go. And Neathug is moving. Yeah, that could become a problem because, yeah. We are already two here and Neathug is also bringing Loki right back. That was ugly. Thor has now a fighting chance actually taking out Fenrir, at least moving him back one position. I think we have to really do that because he's in the best position to take care of that. In order to do that, we may want to visit the elves First, yeah, let's do that. So with our first action, we are taking one elf. So I think now we really have enough to take out Fenrir, no matter what we roll. Before we fight, let's visit the sacred land here. I think this is something we need to prepare. And then, yeah, we have to fight Fenrir. Because if he's moving one step further, we might be losing the game and he's even more difficult to defeat. That's really a bummer. So let's roll the die. This time we have to commit our Vikings before we roll because Tyr has woken up. So we will definitely spend one Viking. We only have one Viking here. And okay, that's, I think we have to spend it all now. So we have one, two, five, six, seven. That was costly, but also important. This guy goes back and that's already the end of his turn. Back to Freya. Jörmungand is moving again. Oh, that's, mm, yeah, we are moving now into danger state because we already have four out of five in the next threshold. Um, 
the Valkyries move back and we have to move. Oh, whoa, wait a second. I think we have to feed the Frost Giant. I forgot to flip this back over actually. But we still have to roll the die. I rolled something, but it fell out. So I will roll again. Okay, it's the Black Island, which I think is okay right now. So Jörmungand is over here. I think there is still one more of these powerful cards and I really hope I haven't missed it. Um, but that's basically that. How many cards do we still have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 more turns to go. Hmm. But anyway, she has three more actions. I think she has to fight Jörmungand to bring Jörmungand back to the threshold. And hmm, Hofen would be also nice. The question is, can she take out both? What she could do now actually is to visit the sacred land twice but i think then she could move it and then take those two viking wars but then she's out of actions right she only gets three actions in total which totally sucks actually though i think jörmungand might be slightly more important i guess to move it back out of the threshold but we are still moving i think the vanya marker one step further and she has still two more actions left with one action she might want to visit the elves yes and then yeah we have to fight again we have to assign or commit the vikings before we roll we have a plus three we need three more we have a one on this so if we i think we have to Let's send in two Vikings. I think I don't really want to take any chances now. So let's roll the die. Okay, that's a two. The first time we rolled something useful, actually. So we have five plus Mjolnir. We need a six. Yeah, we have already overachieved things, but I take that for sure. We didn't need to spend an elf, which is good. And Jörmungand is moving one step back. Nicely done, Freya. Over to Tyr, right? Yes. Okay, Sir is moving all. I mean, they all have to move into these spaces. So we have to add two fire giants into a bag. Dyro, which is the white one. I think, yeah, white is basically burnt, literally. So this has taken care of this. It was only one step. I really have to pay attention. So I'm not cheating him. But at least we get to take three more actions. And again, I am tempted to move Loki one step back because he has Hofen with him. I think this does help. Um, what do we do as well? I think, yeah, we could visit Midgard. And I think we have to do that because otherwise we will never move past the White um, Island here with our first action so at least let's try to do that i know it's it's really pretty bad back but there are still i think two or three vikings in there as far as i remember okay here are three okay we we were able to get one i take that that wasn't terrible at all so that was our first action with the second action i guess we are going to visit the elves and with the last action we are going to fight Loki again with a plus three we will yeah we will commit the one Viking here which is exactly enough one two three four five so we are moving Loki back we did need to spend our elf which is at least small relief nicely done and yeah Loki moved back and that's already the end of his turn done over to Thor. Okay, hell is moving. Yeah, we are removing more Viking snow from the back. So let's see. And that's the white one. Okay, that could be good because... <laughs> no, it's not good. I mean, that's the bag. Um, we still had three more in here. It's now down to one, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's one Viking in the white bag. So this is really gone, basically. Unless we really do some control here. But these folks are out of the game for good. I think that's seven. It's only one step. So we are good. And we are still not losing the game. It's four here and two there. Okay, we are good. We still need some control. So I think for... For Thor's first action, he's moving the Valkyries one step. We are pulling out tokens. Or should we, before we do that, let's add five more tokens into the blue bag. So we are visiting the world of the dead beforehand. So 
that was his first action to put it in. Then we have moved it and we have now triggered the second action already. We are pulling out three tokens. One, two, and three. Oh, okay, three Vikings. That wasn't bad. I mean, we just added an awful lot, for, of course. But that's now all the more reason, actually, to either go after him or we could go after hell i believe because we don't want to move her into the third stage we have a plus one here hmm. do we have enough to take her out actually i don't think so we have to roll a one and we have to commit all of our vikings in there with Fenrir, we have a four already. We need to three, but we also have to commit all three Vikings to that combat. It's now bad, and I believe Jörmungand doesn't matter at all or make sense because Freya would be next, so she would be moving Jörmungand back anyway. I think that doesn't help us either. So maybe, maybe we are visiting the Vanir again. I'm not sure if I'm taking this action way too often actually. I'm really not sure here. But I believe that's already the end of his turn done. Over to Freya. She's revealing the next card. Okay, Loki is moving. We are bringing out another Frost Giant. And this fella blocks um, this location here, which I believe are the Dwarfs, which ooh, I think we already upgraded pretty well, actually. So that may not be our main concern, quite honestly. Okay, <laughs> looking at Freya's board, she would have totally went for this ability uh, to the Dwarfs and upgrade Hofen to move Loki back one position. But she can still leave this with Tyr, maybe. Of course, she could try to take out the Frost Giant. She, I think she might be in an okay position to do that. But uh, yeah, she could visit the Elves, for example, first. Yeah, there are definitely options. But on the other hand, I think she is, for her first action, going to the uh, Sacred Land, because now we could move any one of these fellas back unless it's getting blocked by a frost giant that would be bad of course and we can't go there and use the sacred land and i got really when i'm looking at this right now i got a really hilarious comment on my last video that this whole game is taking place on a large tree house and yeah that's the thing actually in this game in this case okay we still have two more actions again she could trigger it right away actually for example she could say we are moving hell one position back she could also say let's use it to move loki one position back because um he's the one who's putting out danger and i think that's what we want to do with her second action right let's try that yeah absolutely so she will she can use the same action twice she was sending the vanna back and we are moving loki back i think loki is still by far the most seen character in the remaining deck so i think keeping him at bay is definitely important and with her last action she will try to move jermund gun back i mean she's wielding mjolnir like natalie portman basically and is trying to defeat him so we need two more so she has to spend and in order to be safe to spend this viking here so let's roll that die okay we have to also spend our elf which we can or can spend after the die roll that's the benefit of the elves so this fella is gone but Jörg Mungand is moving one step back and i think overall this was an okay turn actually over to Tyr. Uh, yes, of course, Loki has to move. We are bringing out another Frost Giant. And in this case, we are increasing the fighting capability of Surt by one. So he's now at a seven instead of a six. And I think there are no tokens for that. So we have to remember this card. And yeah, there can be any number of Frost Giants face up. So I think it's time to fight Loki. We have Hofund. And Hofen, yeah, gives us a plus three. We have one. So I guess with our first action, or Terrace that is, we are moving the Valkyries to the Green Island and pulling out three tokens from the back. Then. We can still take that action, which is cool. One, two, yeah, great pull. Nicely done. Okay, come on. At least, oh, no. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah, these backs are really not great quality-wise, actually. Mm. 
So let's bring them back. This was terrible. This was truly, truly terrible. So I think we have to visit the elves to do something meaningful. And with the last action, we have to fight Loki. We want to fight Loki again. We have Hofund. So we have to, I think even with a zero, we should be okay. And it's a three. A three plus three is six. We don't need to spend any of our precious elves. Okay, that was insane. Nice roll. Loki has been defeated anyway. Should have been gone. The card. But that's basically the end of his turn. Back to Thor, and I think I will keep going now, this video. Of course, Loki again has to move. There's really no surprise here. And okay, the next location is blocked. And in this case, I believe it's the underworld here or the world of the dead. So this is getting now problematic. Mm, yeah, I think this is not great. Uh, only one step for Loki. Yeah, what do we do? We can now really start to fight those fellas. And I think really going after this one might be the right thing to do, actually. Yeah, I'm not so happy with these dwarves here either. And it's really a bummer that all of these Loki cards came out basically now at the same time now, or they are now coming out at the same time because we haven't seen any of those in the first 15 cards or so. Okay, what do we do? What we could do is now really, because ultimately we need enemy control. That's how we win the game. And in order to do that, this is the most problematic one right now, because we have a plus one here. Thor's trans ability says that the combat strength of each giant is reduced by one. So moving into trance for the others to take care of maybe some of these frost giants might be the right thing to do. In theory, he's losing his plus one, but because he has a minus one on those frost giants, it's basically the same thing. But yeah, he can't really visit Asgard. The thing is, Asgard may not be our main problem right now. So I think I want to take him a swing at those frost giants once this round. Uh, what do I do? I think, yeah, I want to flip, want to fight the frost giants, and with one we could... Yeah, let's go for one of these elves. We are flipping Thor or Thor now to the other side into his trance state. Again, frost giants are now a minus one. Now he's fighting one of those here, actually. Mm, and I think those two go together. Could that be? I don't know. Um, I think I want this one gone first because, again, this is hindering us taking out those enemies if we need to, right? That's the idea. I am going to spend one Viking now. I think we have to do that. Or should I go after... No, let's go after this one here first. I think this is already an auto success, but we are still rolling. Yeah, we could still lose an elf, of course. It's not an auto success. We could lose an elf. So if we roll a one, we are good. We are not rolling one. We have to also spend one elf. But this frost giant is gone which means Surt is back to his normal power level here and I think that's the end of his turn done already. Over to Freya. Of course Surt is moving but that is okay. I think this is really okay now actually. We're adding some more folks too into the green bag. I think we're not going to pull anything out of the green bag at this point in time anyway. So that might be okay. But we still want to do something, I believe. I think we need to fight twice this round, actually. Question is, what? I mean, of course, we want to take care of those frost giants here. And I think that's what we are maybe only fight once this round. Because she's not good at fighting either of those two, which are now the main problem. Of course, Loki as well. But Loki is something Tyr can take care of. So no. For a first action, we are going to visit the elves and maybe we do that a second time no for our second action we are taking the midgard action moving back to the blue island actually and pulling out some tokens here One, two, oh come on 
Okay, one Viking, better than nothing actually, of course. And yeah, with our third and last action, we are going to fight one of those guys. And I guess we have to go for this one, which is blocking the underworld down there. So we are spending one of our Vikings. Oh, we only have one Viking. If we roll one, we can hold on to our elf. And yes, we rolled one. Nicely done. So only this guy goes. And yeah, we have freed up this location here. And overall, we already have defeated, oops, three of these frost giants. Nicely done. Okay, then it's Tyr. We are revealing the next card. Okay, this is now a problem. We are moving Hell into the third stage of the game, which means we are now losing right now because we have three past this threshold. We can still take our action. That is cool. And this would be really problematic if this would have been Fenrir that would trigger this. But yeah, we still have to roll the die and we are removing ooh, three. I think that is okay, actually. We are removing three three Vikings from the back because we had power level three. I think that is okay, actually. The black back is still pretty solid for us and it's, it's currently blocked anyway. So we can't do anything there. So I guess this was okay and we are only moving hell once. Okay, that was If that would have moved twice, we would have been in a bad, bad shape. But now we have to take three actions and have to move one of these fellas back. The problem is we can't really visit the dwarves now to upgrade the weapon, which we need. Yeah, that's bad. And this is a seven, right? This is really bad. So I guess we really have to, we have to take this trade action, World of Darkness down here. We will trade with Thor to get two Vikings. So we are now at a five actually, which is not enough, <laughs> which is really not enough. With our second action, I think we have to visit, we take the Midgard action and we stay at the Blue Island here. I think this is where we added at least 10 tokens or so into the bag. Okay, that's good. I think we will survive this round. That's at least a small relief. Okay, this goes back, but we do have two more Vikings. And then with the third and last action with Gungir, we have a plus one here. We will have to try to fight it and we have to commit our, we have to really, we, we can't take any chances here. So we have four Vikings, that's a five in total. And if worst thing, we, we can still use both of our elves here. So we have to at least, yeah, I think whatever we were, it's a one, okay. So we have to spend one here. So that's five, six, seven. So we can move, what is it? I keep forgetting. The, the green fella back one space, which means right now we are no longer losing, but that was really, really costly actually here. Yeah. <laughs> it's nail biter. And I'm really happy I'm not playing on the absolute easy difficulty level. So we have added some more um, nasty stuff in there. And I think especially with Fenrir, this came back to bite us, but that's already the end of our turn. We are moving back to Thor and I think we will lose it. Jörmung. Okay, Jörmungand is moving. That is actually quite all right. So we are moving the Valkyries back. We are moving the water pool. It stays on the Black Island. I totally take that. It's only one step. So yeah, we are still standing. So we can actually do something. That is not bad. In theory, we could try to fight Fenrir, but yeah, we could, would have to flip back and we still need three more tokens. And hmm, there is really not an awful lot. Maybe for our first action, we have to visit the world of the dead. Let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. The question is, where do we put it? And we still had one in here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I add those fellas in here, but I think with our second action, we are now pulling out five tokens out of this white bag here and we'll remove all red tokens basically two that's good three four it's not so great five okay we have removed three red and added five of this so i think the white Back is now back in action. I, I really like that, but that's basically down to one action left. We are not going to fight because, yeah, we can't fight because we are now translated and we can still go after these frost giants, maybe with the other characters. And I think we are also, we could now actually do this 
but no, it may sound foolish, but we are doing this. Not sure if we can do that enough actually in order to do something meaningful with that. Or we could go after, or we could simply say we go after this frost giant here and basically go for a Hail Mary, then someone could still up great stuff maybe that's the better deal we had to have to roll a two actually but let's do that i really want at least to roll the dice once actually this playthrough so this frost giant is on two only and yeah it's basically a one third of a chance five or six on arkham horror eldritch horror and it's a one not good enough we don't have any elves unfortunately that was bad so we wasted our last action, but I felt lucky. I think this was pretty stupid, actually. Moving back to Freya, let's reveal the next enemy card. Okay, Loki is moving, which again means we are losing now. And the only thing in order to not lose is actually to move Loki back. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Okay, how do we do that? She has a plus one from Hofund, which is good. In theory, we could simply visit the elves twice and hope that we are rolling well enough. Then we would still, <laughs> I think, I think we might be losing here. Um, let's visit the elves once actually. And then for our last action, we are moving over here for the second action actually, and of course, we are moving over here and we have optimized that back to some extent, right? So we are pulling out three tokens. Okay, that's a great start, of course. Come at least one. No! Yeah, this might be game over here. So now we are basically with our last action. We have to try to take out Loki. And I think we have to roll a three, actually. Yeah, we have a plus one, plus two elves. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's down to. And no. <laughs> It's not good enough. Her turn is done. We have one, two, three, four, five gods past this threshold here, which means we have lost. We are not playing until the total end of the round. It really is checked at the end of each god's activation. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more cards. And yeah, Fenrir would have been the next one. Okay, that's lovely. And here's the second one, actually, that is moving... Need her two spaces at, which wouldn't have been too bad, but yeah. Ultimately, I totally suck at this game. Anyway, I really enjoy this a big deal. It's a very, I think, even family-friendly kind of game. It has a nice artwork. I really enjoy this game quite a bit, actually. Sorry for my poor playing here. I mean, it was somewhat close, but then seven cards is two full more rounds, actually. So... Oof. I, th I don't really think we would have a chance. If we would have um, basically triggered one of these um, sigils here, basically from the fire, uh, frost giants here, then we might have a fighting chance. And this is where this last space on the sacred lands back, you can really defeat any one of the uh, frost giants in the deck here and then you can basically pick and choose the last remaining sigil you need in order to complete one of those right you need four of those in order to trigger the special ability then in this case this could become important but yeah i think we were in control here actually if this would have been if this would have been that i think we would have totally managed to to be standing then we could have still prepared so tier could have gone after loki and moved it back so i think in this position here we would are in an okay shape we should have really gotten rid of the frost giant here so maybe do one or two more final upgrades so I think overall we weren't too far off. Ultimately, again, the cards are weren't in our favor. And that's really, you have a lot of randomization in this deck. You have the bags, you have the die, you have the cards, the cards for these enemies, the cards for those frost giants, well, how these are moving here, basically. So really a lot of things. You can do an awful lot of that to mitigate that luck, which is really good. So it's nothing like um, Black uh, Ghost Stories, which I believe is totally random compared to this one yes here too but here you have way more control doing things at least that's how i think about this game and yeah hope you liked it big shout out to all of my patrons and channel members out there you guys are truly amazing can't tell you how much i appreciate all your support and yeah with that being said hope to see you soon in one of my next videos next one might be a short unboxing of something i'm really looking forward to i got a review copy of epos a gentis game or gentis game um which uli 
from Spielworks kindly provided to me. So definitely look out for that. I will also do a playthrough of that game, of course. There are there is a solo mode. There are more campaigns. Uh, there's a campaign to that. There are scenarios to that. So definitely look out for those videos relatively soon, hopefully. And yeah, with that being said, hope to see you soon. And until then, bye bye.